Alright, uh, hello, and welcome to my reactions to, uh, selected scenes in the extended version. Uh, I'm going to get around to watching all of them, so I'll have seen, like, the whole extended movies, but, uh, I'm not gonna be reacting to every single extended scene, um, so I'm picking a couple from each movie that I'm going to react to. Uh, this first one is from The Fellowship of the Ring, uh, Lothlorien, which is... The city in the woods, I think, the one where Galadriel lives. Okay, this part, I think I've seen this part, maybe. I also can't remember if I've seen this part or not. Oh, okay. No, I remember this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I've seen all of this before. Well, it'd be nice if I could understand what they were saying. This video doesn't give the translations. Yeah. Rude. It's very annoying if people speak languages that their guests can't understand. I've had this happen where I've been visiting people and then they'll all start talking in another language. Oh, whoops, I'm gonna go back because I missed one. Oh, that's sweet. Nice thing to say. Yep. I can see why they cut it. I don't feel like much really happened. Um, there's a nice little moment between Boromir and Frodo, which, you know, Boromir's gonna be attacking Frodo and trying to steal the ring from him soon, so, yikes. But, um, yeah. There wasn't much there. Um, this is my reaction to the extended version, apparently, of the Council of Elrond. Uh, so yeah. To answer the threat of Mordor, Middle Earth stands upon the brink of destruction. None can escape it. You will unite, or you will fall. Okay. Each race is now. To this fate, this one doom. Bring forth the ring. Frodo. 
I've seen this part, I'm fairly certain. I saw the eastern sky grow dark. The west pale light lingered. The voice was crying. The doom is near at hand. Sudio's pain is found. Sudo's um. pain. Early. Never before has any voice uttered the words of that tongue here in Imladris. Do not ask your pardon, Master Aaron, for the black speech of Mordor may yet be heard in every corner of the West. Okay. The ring is altogether evil. Oh, it is a gift, a gift to the foes of Mordor. Why not use this ring? Long has um. my father, the steward of God, Kept the forces of Mordor at bay by the blood of our people. Are your lands kept safe? Oh, okay. okay. So there's um, you know that that was that was weird. Um, Boromir having like a weird dream. I guess he had been having those dreams a lot because they mention it. Is that like the dream he had of like Minas Tirith falling? I don't know. Um. Yeah, that was an interesting scene. Okay, so next I'm watching a scene from the Two Towers Extended Edition called Emin Mule, which I uh, don't know what it's about, but it's the first one on the list for this movie, and I figured I'll watch this one. So yeah. Oh, this is the title card. Seen that. Have you seen the bottom? No! Don't look down, Sam! Just keep going! Oh boy. Oh my god. The rope tied to the- no. No, all of this is a no from me. Oh, what did he drop? I want that far from the bottom, then. Bolts and rope and goodness knows what. Not natural. None of it. What's in the box? What's in this? Nothing. Just a bit of seasoning. I thought maybe we was having a roast chicken one night or something. <laughs> roast chicken? You never know. <laughs> Sam. My dear Sam. It's very special, that. It's the best salt in all the Shire. <laughs> it is special. A little bit of home. Mm. Bad. We can't leave this here for someone to follow us down. Who's gonna follow us down here, Mr. Frodo? You got him. It's a shame, really. Lady Galadriel gave me that. Real elvish rope. Well, there's nothing for it. It's one of my notes. I won't come free in a hurry. Oh, well, mm, honey. Do it just this. Real elvish rope. <laughs> now that we've helped you put up an ad. <laughs> That was funny. Oh my god, they brought and he made Frodo like save the seasoning so he didn't move it. And that made him fall like the, the whole thing. If he had fallen too far, the whole quest could have been over and they could have like had Frodo die before he ever got the ring to Mordor, but it was important. So they could have salt for their roast chicken. Honestly, you know what, Sam? I get it. You know, 
flavoring your food is important. Maybe not that important. <laughs> it was a cute scene though. It's nice. I mean, I see why it was cut because the movie was already very long, but <laughs> it was funny. Alright, uh, this next scene is also extended. It's called The Heir of New Men or I don't know what that is, but this scene looks kind of important, so. Who's that? Okay. Okay, Gandalf. Doubt ever knows at him. The room has reached her. The air of no one else to live. Sound fears you. I thought he was. I thought he was Isildur. Isildur. Observing yeah. hard and fast to the world of men. He will use his puppet Saruman to destroy Rohan. War is coming. He's <laughs> like no nodding along. Wow. The first challenge for Rohan is weak and ready to fall. Wow. The king's mind is enslaved. It's an empty device of Saruman's. His hope to the king theorem is now very strong. Sauron and Saruman are tightening the noose. But for all their cunning, we have one advantage. To bring them in. Hmm, well. Really? What else is there? Mm -hmm. Damn well. We'll see how well he does. Yeah. Why? He's not alone, he's with Sam. Aw, he's happy about that. Aw. Alright, that was, um, that was nice. I mean, I like that they're like, Sam's with him and that's good. Um, I mean, I don't know what that whole thing about Aragorn being N Numenor's heir is, because I, th I thought he was Isildur's heir and that was why he was the king of Gondor. I mean, obviously you can be descended from more than one person. I just don't know who this Numenor is. So that seems like a pretty important thing that it's kind of weird that like they never it never even got mentioned in the shorter version. Probably a big deal in the books. I don't know. But um alright. <laughs> that was yeah. Interesting scene. Okay, this next scene is called A Descendant of Numenor, so I assume we're gonna get some answers about that earlier weird scene. So, yeah. <laughs> what? He couldn't what? Oh, it's Eowyn and Aragorn. Okay, more of this. Oh, God. Trying so hard. Come on, you can do better. You did do better. You got Faramir. Oh, that looks gross. I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> what? This is so awkward. Blessed with long life. It was said 
that your race had passed into legend. There are few who left. Our old kingdom was destroyed long ago. Oh. I'm sorry. Please eat. Right. Oh, he doesn't like it there. But why? I'm so confused. I thought he was a man, like a human. Go oh, on, fix it up a little. Get hate the ads. Um. I thought he was a human. That was like his whole thing. That he was supposed to lead the race of men. He's gonna lead the race of men and he's not even a human? That's weird. Um, 87. Yikes. So he's this, like, special race of people that oh, lives longer and he's like one of the last ones because they were all destroyed. I don't know. I think it was some Doctor Who vibes. But that's weird. Like, so he's not a human? I thought he was a human. Why would they be- okay. So many qu- that scene just raises more questions than it answers. And they mention Eowyn's grandfather, which is more than her parents ever get mentioned. I mean, presumably they died, but we don't- they don't mention that in the movies. Nobody's parents get mentioned, which is a thing that I noticed that other than- Mm, that one character who I hate very, very much. Um, no parents are actually shown, and like, really, almost none are even mentioned. Like, that's weird. But anyway, so Aragorn's real old. That's still kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, that was that. Was that. Okay, this next scene is called Saruman's Storeroom, and I really doubt it's important, but it's a Merry and Pippin scene, and I love Merry and Pippin, so I'm just gonna watch it anyway, even though it's not really important. He's pretty, not too happy at all, Merry. <laughs> Still, I suppose the view would be quite nice from up there. Oh, yes. It's a quality establishment. <laughs> I hear the stuff. <laughs> what is he doing? So funny, and I mean, also just really like sweet characters. Like, they're probably my favorite characters in the whole thing. Uh, that was really nice. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's probably enough two tower scenes. I'll move on to reacting to the return of the king ones. Uh, okay, one more scene I wanted to talk about. I did record my reaction to it, but I recorded it like a week ago and I did it on my phone. And, um, so I couldn't get the file transferred to my computer to upload, unfortunately. Uh, honestly, it wasn't, wasn't super great because I was recording on my phone anyway. Um, but I watched it, like, um, because I just really wanted to watch it, and it was the scene from Two Towers, the flashback of Boromir and Faramir and their dad. Um, I just want to talk about it real quick because I really loved the scene. Um, I mentioned that in that reaction that didn't upload, but, like, sibling relationships are, like, 
I'm a sucker for them in like all things, maybe TV shows, books, whatever. Like I love good like relationships between siblings. That's like my number one thing. So seeing that Boromir and Faramir and like how they were like how close they were and how Boromir is like a protective older brother and how he like defended him against their dad. That was really sweet and I loved seeing that. Um, and, you know, made, I didn't think I could hate Denethor anymore until I watched that scene, and I was like, wow, I could hate him more. I do hate him more. I really hate that guy. Uh, yeah, he's just the worst. The worst father. And that, nothing will piss me off more about a character than being a shit father, so. Well, or a shit parent. It applies to mothers, too. Just to be clear. Um, but yeah, so... I, I, I like that scene, um, love the sibling relationship, and yeah, I just wanted to say that, even though the actual reaction to that scene is, like, not available. Okay, on to The Return of the King. This one's called The Death of Saruman, which makes me think it's important. Um, so, we'll see. Can we not take counsel together as we once did? Can we not have peace? You and I. We shall have peace. We shall have peace. When you answer for the burning of the Westfold. Oof. And the children that lie dead there. We shall have peace. When the yeah. lives of the soldiers. Whose bodies were hewn even as they lay dead against the gates of the Hornburg. Are avenged. All right. When you hang from its suit, okay. for the sport of your own crows, Good we shall have peace. Oh, he just he killed his son, right? His orcs killed his son, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's not... Peace ain't happening. The key of our sank, or perhaps the keys of Barad-Dur itself, Along with the crowns of the seven kings and the rods of the five wizards, seven kings. your treachery has already cost many lives. Thousands more are now at risk. But you can save them, Saruman. You were deep in the enemy's council, so you have come here for information. I have some for you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Something festers in the heart of Middle Earth. Oh boy. Something that you have failed to see. Uh oh. Our great eye has seen it. What are they referring to? Why is this Even some now, later in the movie, Brennan? Oh boy. Is it Well, dark, but they don't. You know this, Most of them live. You cannot think that this ranger will ever sit upon the throne oh. of Gondor. Well. Crept from the shadows will never be crowned king. Alright, well, fuck off. Gondor does not hesitate to sacrifice those closest to him. Alright. Those he professes. Okay, he isn't Dumbledore. What words of comfort did you give the half? Before you sent him to his doom. He didn't send him to his doom. The path that you have set him on can only lead to death. I've heard enough! Shoot him! Stick him out on his back! No! Come um. down, Saruman! And your life will be spared! Save your pity and your mercy! I have no use for it! It's that creepy dude. Ugh. You need not follow him. But why does he you care? Not always as you are now. Grima does. You were once a man of Rohan. <laughs> a man of Rohan. What is the house of Rohan? For the thatched wow. bar where brigands drink in the reek and <laughs> our rats roll on the floor with the oh, dogs. Oh, you did not. Victory at Helm's Deep does not belong to you, Theoden, horse bastard. <laughs> you are a lesser son of the greater science. 
Impressive that he's keeping his cool most. them both and now they don't get information. Oh my god. So he did die. And they left that out of the theatrical version and just had him like locked up in Isengard and Gandalf was like Treebeard watch him. Why would they not? Why would why would they not include that, or at least have a line of it? Wow, okay, well, that answers that question. Weird that they cut that. Okay, this one's called Denethor's Thought. I don't know what Denethor could possibly say or do. That's worse than what he already did in the movie, but I guess I'll find out. If how you would serve your city, you would risk its utter ruin. Alright, fuck off. I did what I judged to be right. What you judged to be right. You sent the ring of power into Mordor <laughs> in the hands of a witless halfling. Okay, yeah, he's mad. Uh, yeah, by you. Mm. Falling in ruin, and I alone could save her. Ever you desire to appear lordly and gracious as a king of old. Pardon me, I would have remembered oh, his father's need. Oh, he would have brought me a kingly gift. Pardon me, would not have brought the ring. He would have stretched out his hand to this thing, and taking it, he would have fallen. You know nothing of this matter. He would have kept it for oh. his own. When he returned, you would not have known your son. Dalamir was loyal to me! Okay. Not some wizard, you will... Mad, but God, he's just such an awful person. All right, well, that was fun. Okay, this next scene is Faramir and Pippin, which is exciting because they're two of my favorite characters. So let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, I'm taller than you were then. 
no, I'm not likely to grow anymore. Except <laughs> sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Never fitted me either. Borrow me, Mr. Wish, the soldier. Oh. Never so like he and my father. Oh, they're not. Borrow me, the way that I didn't father. Stop it, even. also like factors into when Pippin saves Saramir's life later like because they have this like bond between them not that he wouldn't have tried to save him anyway but that, that's still yeah I like that okay yeah so this last scene that I'm gonna watch for the reaction is uh, Eowyn and Faramir it's exciting they're again two of my favorite characters um it's, it's exciting and I know again they like end up together and that there's more in the books which Honestly, like, I think I'm pro I'm gonna read the books, and it's, like, mostly just for these two. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It's great. I'm gonna watch it now. <laughs> the city is falling silent. Aww. There is no warmth left in the sun. Aww. It grows so cold. Just the death of the first spring rain. Uh -huh. I do not believe this darkness will endure. Aww. Aww, that's fine. Aww. Aww, I mean, that was, that was real short. I wish there was more of the two of them. That'd be nice. Um, because that wasn't, that wasn't much. That was, like, two lines. Um, but it was nice. Um, yeah, it was sweet. And they, they were, they get to be happy. Especially Faramir. I mean, you know, everything that happened in the movie really sucked for him, mostly. So, nice I mean, also, I guess Eowyn also had a pretty bad time with things in the movie, so nice that they both get to be happy now. Um, happy-ish. So that's nice. Yeah. And yeah, so that's uh, all the ones I'm going to be reacting to. Uh, I'm going to watch, like, all the playlists of the extended scenes, um, but some of them seemed less important, even if they are important. It's, like, these are the ones I decided to react to, um, but I'm going to watch them all, so I'll have, like, caught up and all there is in the movies, and I am going to read the books at some point. Um, currently, I'm reading the A Song of Ice and Fire books, so it'll be after I finish those, um, which, which will be a while, because I read pretty slow, and I'm still in the first book. Um, but yeah, so I will eventually read the books, I've decided. Um, I don't know if I'll go back to the Hobbit book, or if I'll just read the Lord of the Rings books, and then do the Hobbit after. We'll see. Um, as for the Hobbit movies, I'll probably, I'll read the book before I watch them, I think, and I, I, people don't like them, I'm, I'm not going to react to them, but I'm, I'll probably watch them because Benedict Cumberbatch is in there, and I like Benedict Cumberbatch a lot, so yeah, um, thank you for watching, uh, and yeah, this is, this is my last Lord of the Rings video, so that's crazy, I mean, I might make, like, some video in the feed in the future or talking about it, but it's like the end of like the reactions to Lord of the Rings. Just crazy so now I can move like move on to doing other stuff on the channel. But I hope you enjoyed and yeah, thank you for watching. Uh like, subscribe, all of that. Bye.